Yo, what up? I'm Tabo Fall. My name is Billy Boaching, and today it's going to be me, you, and a whole lot of fresh goodness. We got a sweet episode lined up, so stay locked in. Let's check it out. Let's go. C H A M P I O E. Tabo Fall Freshies. I'm Pepe Moisea. I'm Simon, and I play basketball for the Manutu Jets. Hi, uh, Ben Kochik, someone in Māori. I was born in Tanzo, Queensland. Please welcome to the stage the very funny Bailey Kochik! Oh, it's slimy! I'm not touching that. Wait, you're freaking scaring me now. Um, it's slimy boots. <laughs> Guys, what is... <laughs> what is this? Preparations before the game, it felt pretty calm. There's a lot of excitement from the team. It's been a long time since they got a Tahi been in Tonga. So to come back and, and to connect and to play in front of our people again, just the best feeling ever. We've only had a limited amount of time together, but I think we're heading in the right direction. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
We're here at Clinton Bakery, just a go-to local spot that I used to come to after school. Uh, I'm out of town quite a bit now, so I'm not always able to come here. Uh, but when I am back, I'm either here or around the corner at Evelina's. I've been coming here since intermediate or primary. Uh, Mum would buy pankeke for us in the mornings for school, so something we always look forward to. Like I said, with, with Clendon, I'm out of town a lot, so whenever I'm back, this is a taste of home. Uh, Mouthful Park is a very important place to the Pacifica community here in Manurewa. Um, a lot of sport happens here, here for a run, walk their dogs. My dog recently passed away, we were close to them, um, and you know, I'd walk him here. Uh, every other day, so this is a pretty special place for me. Uh, most people would know Manurewa for being the hood, being quite a dangerous place, because that's what we're on the news for, I guess. But uh, I see this place as a real tight-knit community. There's a lot of love here, and we're pretty supportive of people doing good, uh, representing our area. Uh, this place means a lot. It's a pretty special place to me. It's been a lot of hours here. Definitely discovered my love for basketball and discovered a passion, something that I want to pursue. So I'm still quite close with a lot of the staff members here and they trust me. So they lend me the key and let me come in here and get shots up and keep training during the off season since that's uh, what I do as a profession. Uh, I guess I have a positive impact on the kids here. I always come back and help coach as well. While I'm in here working, if school's on, some kids will come in watch me train and ask me for a few tips to tell them to get in here and shoot like I am. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with me today in my hood, Manurewa. I'm Pepe Mosea. Take care of yourselves and each other and keep it fresh. About to change the channel, were you? Now it's just about to pour glass. So stay locked in. Let's check it out. Ah, <laughs> oh, bro, for real? Like what? Like actually? Like what are you, G? Tony, Tony, come see this guy. What are you? You know? <laughs> I was like, um, <laughs> stressed. Uh, um. <laughs> Why do you like it? Because of the sweetness of the pumpkin. There is no sweetness. Okay. Why don't you like it? Because I don't like the taste. And I don't like lamb. Fresh Money's Bear Coaching, and you're watching my episode of Young, Gifted, and Brown. Please welcome to the stage, the very funny Bailey Poaching! Hi, uh, Bailey Poaching. Someone in Māori. I was born in Townsville, Queensland, and raised in Wakefield, that's York in England. But I'm now lucky enough to live here in Pumpkin Pillar, up the other one, New Zealand. I'm a writer, director, actor, comedian. I'm a creative. I tell stories, I'm a storyteller. Right now, predominantly, I'm a comedian and actor, um, but I also work as a writer and director. Storytelling, I think, is, is something that I've always wanted to do in many different forms. I always wanted to be an artist. I wanted to throw comic books and write movies and all those kinds of things. I'm lucky enough now to be in a position where I, where I do that for a living. I was always quite a loud kid. Like, I always wanted attention, you know? Like, I always wanted the eyes on me. So, when I left high school in England, I decided, like, oh, I might as well try to do comedy. I was 18. I signed up for it, my friend went. And it went well. <laughs> it went really well. Got good laughs. The MC really gassed me up. He was like, I can't believe it's the first time. So that's, that was the first ever gig. And then I started like, with my a little bit in England. Didn't really take off properly until I came here. Like, I remember one time at high school, um, someone came up to me and was like, Where are you from? 
No, sorry, where are your parents originally from? My little gang of white friends would be like, that's not okay. He can't say that to you. That's racist. Yeah. <laughs> And I feel like as soon as I got to New Zealand, there were like three islanders coming up to me like, gee, what are you? <laughs> nah, bro, for real, like, what, like, actually, like, what are you, G? Tony, Tony, come see this guy, what are you? You know? <laughs> I was like, um, <laughs> stressed? Uh, uh, um. So this is the uh, basement studio. It's one of the theaters uh, here in, in Palmerton, Dakota, Auckland. Currently, I'm doing my show, Hot Filthy Garbage, here in the studio with my friend Crum. Uh, it's kind of about our friendship, about trust, and about the uh, business of show. And yeah, this is this is like kind of an ideal space for the show to be in. It's like a really nice, intimate, um, black box theatre. This is where the audience sits uh, in the basement studio. Um, probably doesn't look like it on camera, but we can fit up to 2,000 people in here. Sold out last night, obviously. I'm not supposed to do this, but I'll take backstage just for me. So yeah, this is where we hang out, this is where we warm up. Uh, we'll do like our little check-ins and talk about how we're doing. This is, uh, this is my rider for the evening. It just takes a lot of calories to put a show on, you know, so it's gotta, it's, it's gotta stay fuel. So this is the main space I'm changing room. This is um, a lot of the bigger shows. We'll have the warm-ups in here. Make sure you have actually never been um, loud in here before. Well, it's not there, so usually that's casual. <laughs> but one of the things that I came back to Aotearoa for was film school. I came to film school. I really wanted to be a director. That was like my big thing. I'm just happy to tell stories about people who look like me, reflecting my own journey with, with, with my identity and, and my relationship with the world. And recently I, I made a film called The Voyager's Legacy, a short film. And yeah, I just really felt compelled to tell this story about a Samoan family living in a house in Ponsonby. And I think the way I wanted to frame it was more that it was this beautiful family that something awful happened to. Because I feel like often when we remember history or when we talk about the history of these things, we, we think of them as the Dawn Raids, right? And, and that's, that's all these people are, as they are characters in the story of the Dawn Raids. But in reality, they were so much more than that. So for the past five years, that's, that's the journey that I've been on. It's just figuring out what is our place as Mali is, is possibly good. But my way of doing that is through saying jokes and writing, writing, writing movies and stuff. <laughs> I love New Zealand and I love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'm Bailey. Pop tight. <laughs>
That's a really good. Where's the taste that? Tastes like sushi. So <laughs> What's inside this? Um, it's flour, sugar. Yeah, it's got coconut in it. Easy to make and very economical. Do you know what that means? No. It's cheap to make. Cheap to make? Yeah. All right. What did you like about it? I like that it's better than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nana, for sharing this with me. You're welcome. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Are you going to share with me next time? Yes. Why? Because I like to share with people. Oh, good girl. Right now, I'm going through a bakery stage and just no, eating every all the pies. pies. Yeah, I've and seen then that. I went. <laughs> I see that. I see that. And my name is Job. Today we have another episode of Guess the Food. Joe won the last one. This is the second round, and we are in for it. What do you prefer, savory or sweet? Definitely savory. What's your favorite savory food to eat? Savory, I definitely love spring rolls. Do you know what I've learned about you? Oh, You're such a basic eater. Okay, I'm slowly getting into all my other stuff. Right now, I'm going through a bakery stage and just no, eating every day. All the pies. pies. Yeah, I've and seen then that. I went. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> I, see it. <laughs> I see that. So today, we get five items to taste. Five. Whoever gets it first wins that point. Next one to five wins. Next person is second place. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. Shut up! <laughs> you get the gist of it. If you watched last week, you'll get it. Just catch on. You'll get the bloody thing. We love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all, we love each other. Okay. Amen. We love each other. Yeah. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Round one. I've got a feeling it's going to be something from the Pacific. Three, two, one. Have a sniff. I know what it is. Turmeric latte, chai latte. Production, was I right? Yeah. Period. Thank you, guys. Next. <laughs> Round two. It just smells like seafood. If this is raw fish, you're going to get it. I know what I it is. I hate seafood. Did I you know taste it? it? Wait, I haven't even tasted oh. it yet. Wait, yogurt. No. Um, chia seed pudding. And that's a wrap. End of case, two points to Joe. Are you sure you didn't set this competition up? Do you want mine too? This is clearly eating everything. Round number three. Oh, I've smelled this before. Oh, it smells like, like an like... Asian restaurant. I'm gonna just guess chives. This is salad. This said vermicelli. Vermicelli. Fine, I'll go vermicelli. Oh, I know what. I like this. It's seaweed salad. It's actually. Mm hmm. What is this? It smells salad. nice though. Wow, well, you almost finished. I thought I like it. <laughs> All yours, pap. What's the score now? 3-0? Far out. I suck. No, actually, I'm strong. I'm powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I am woman. I am... <laughs> okay, thank you. Next. Okay, Elvis, this what? is round what? Four. Four. I'm not going to taste it. I'm just going to smell it. Okay. Minute, okay? Okay. So you can taste it. You can smell it. Okay. Three, two, one. Russians. No. Cheetos. I bet you the Cheetos or Twisties are the hot, spicy ones. I bloody knew it. They are. You know why? Because it purses. That's how it's what. So see, once again, <laughs> once again, your palate is like giving five-year-old. Mum, Dad, I only want to eat Twisties. Oh. I get a point. OK, Elvis, this is the final round. Yeah. I am not helping you. OK, fine. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Oh, my oh, God. How? No. 
I can smell Moana in here. And you already know I do not like seafood. Oh, it's slimy! I'm not touching that. Wait, you're freaking scaring me now. Pam, it's slimy boots. <laughs> it's crab, fish, or might be mussel. Oh, no. I'm not doing that. It's mussel. I knew it was that. <laughs> yeah, see, shame. I need a towel. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yuck. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> Jackson, I have a formal complaint. I hate raw seafood. I smacked the seafood straight away. Straight away. Did you even try it? No, hell no. I smacked it. I knew it's seafood straight away. And just like that, Joe has won again. Three, two. At least I had an improvement, though. I got two points, not one this time. Thank you for having us. My name is Alvis. And my name is Traumatized. And we are not coming back next week. Mm -mm. See ya. That's a wrap. That's all from me. Say hi to your grandma for me. Stay safe and until next week, keep it fresh. We need, I, we actually need to plug this microphone in if we're gonna fun with it. We've been in the creative world for a long time. We make our own music, I make my own beats, and Brooke's always adding her five cents in anyway, <laughs> telling me what's crap and what isn't. Um, yeah, nice but yeah, way. yeah, in a nice way. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs>